Right, eh? Tell you the champs, and finally we have a display that is worthy of the Mac displays. If you don't know, the Macs have some of the best displays you can get. Whether you have an iMac, MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, doesn't matter. They have some of the best displays going around. And finally, we have a display that is worthy of these Mac displays, and it's great for a second monitor for your iMac or a first monitor for your Mac Pro, and it's excellent for any of the Mac laptops, because this one is Thunderbolt 3. I'll get to that in a sec. Now, this is a professional monitor made for Macs. Now, you don't have to use it with the Mac. You can use it on a PC if you want. Works the same way. Thunderbolt 3, no problems. You've got the HDMI's, you've got the display port as well, but it is designed for the Macs and it has a special MacBook mode, which pretty much mimics what a Mac display is like. Like, I cannot tell the difference when I have it in Mac mode. So it is indeed a 31.5 inch 4K display, IPS panel, 300 nits, 1000 to one contrast ratio. And that's one thing about this display, it has better response and it's not as ghosty as the Mac displays. 95% P3, 60 hertz, 16 by nine display, also is 10 bit wolf, and it does HDR as well. You can actually set it to HDR in the settings with your Mac when you connect it to a Mac. You got multiple color modes, low blue light, animation, CAD, Rec 709, Adobe RGB, sRGB, HDR, DCI-P3, Lightroom, Darkroom, MacBook mode. This is made for professionals and the calibration's right. I checked out the color gamut. I checked out the brightness. It all checks out and it is indeed the equal of the quality of say the iMac display other than it's not as bright as the iMac display, 300 nits versus 500 nits. I actually checked out how bright I use my iMac and I use it at about 220 nits, so it's perfectly bright enough for me. And if you're a colorist, you're working in a darker room anyway. You know, all pros that work with color, color grading, professional stuff, they don't work in rooms with, you know, light and reflections. They actually sometimes have a hood over their monitor or they work in a dark room. Now, the special thing about this is it's Thunderbolt 3. Not only that, it can provide 85 watts of power and you can daisy chain, of course. So I can plug in my Mac to this. Any Mac with Thunderbolt 3 or maybe the new ones with Thunderbolt 4, when they come out, just one plug, woof. I've got power for my MacBook laptop and I've got a professional grade 10-bit external monitor for my Mac laptop. So that is excellent, 85 watts of power. It'll pretty much power any Mac laptop and even say, for example, the 96-watt MacBook Pro 16, it'll power that no problem. The only time it'll draw more than 85 watts is in its boost state, which is very temporary and it can only sustain about 75 watts sustained anyway. So pretty much any Mac laptop, plug into this, you're going to get power for it. You've got to awesome display factory calibrated by kelman certification the color accuracy is out of this world in terms of color calibration it's actually better than the imax there's less difference between calibrated and non-calibrated in fact it's actually embarrassing using the equipment i use to measure the color gamut on this compared to what they use it has two hdmi 2s one display port 1.4 you get usb downstream times three usb upstream times one and of course those two thunderbolt 3 ports one is 85 watts one is 15 watts you also get a speaker too which is decent and on the side you can connect usbs and you can connect your headphones on the side as well easily controllable on-screen display at the back you have a joystick but even better than that you have this little puck and what this puck does is you can change color modes like if you're a colorist and you want to go to different color spaces you can do that you can go into the on-screen display you know set the monitor how you want this is an easy way for professionals just to switch through color modes so what about the hdr how is it in hdr okay so let me show you something here two displays this is on HDR okay so this display is set to HDR that's the external monitor of course the BenQ and the uh, default monitor is not on HDR now have a look now, even though this is 500 nits and this is peak 300 nits they're both pretty much the same brightness now but have a look at this content look how bright it is on this screen look on this screen see if you can tell the difference it's brighter on the BenQ and that's just because it's mapped in HDR. So I don't know if you can see that, that's brighter there. Here, not so bright, a bit duller. Here, boom, brighter. And that's just because it's mapped on HDR and it sort of will fit into the container of that 300 nits, but it maps it right. So if you're looking at it on the SDR uh, display, it's gonna look less bright. So it's gonna look duller. So the HDR works on this, because it actually can map it to HDR.
So yeah, I really like this display, professional display. It's as good as the iMac display, and in some instances better. It's 32 inch versus 27 inch. The response time's better. And this one has a matte coating as well. And I do have the glossy iMac. So now you've got a professional monitor that you can connect to all your Macs. And where this excels is connecting it to your laptop, right? Powers your laptop. You've got an awesome secondary display. I love that thing, one cable. It's just wolf. That's the way to go. So anyway, check this one out. If you want a second display for your MacBook or your iMac or Mac Pro, whatever, it's a great display. So catch you in the next one. Tally ho.